then we open up the uh, representation of page 24. So we are in the study of the book of Revelation and John. We have John is uh, one of the 12 disciples that the Lord has been with. And he's talking to the churches of Asia because in the last days, uh, these are the parts of the things that we have already discussed in the last days, uh, there's a dispensation that will be given to the Gentiles. The Gentiles, ito po yung mga tao na hindi mga Rujo. So in the first 2,000 years before the Antidiluvian, the Antidiluvian, when you say Antidiluvian era, is uh, that's before the flood. So meron pong tinatawag na Antidiluvian era, and that is what we call before the flood. Before na nangyari yung pag, uh, pagdating ni Noah at yung ark na tinatawag, at nagkaroon ng flooding sa buong mundo, that's what you call the era of the Antidiluvian. So after that, the next 2,000 years was dedicated to given and uh, uh, said by a God is uh, communicating directly to the Jews, to the Israel, that, that we call the nation. So he dealt with the nation. And uh, in the last 2,000 years, which is from the day, from, from the death of Jesus Christ, up to our time is again 2,000 years. So 2,000 years, 2,000 years, 2,000 years, po yung no? <clears throat> Every 2,000 years, something is happening. And now we're on the last phase. Because there is already, this is already 2017. Jesus Christ died in uh, 20, uh, uh, in year 33 AD. In 33 AD, uh, Paul received the message in 50, started preaching his message in 53, if I'm not mistaken. So 53 AD, so it was a day, we're almost in the 2000 years for the Gentile period. So anytime, anytime, no one knows what, when the coming of the Lord will be or the catching away of the bride will be, but anytime it can happen. We are, this is not a trip, I'm just reminding you because we have to rejoice. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you for us to rejoice, we're not telling you, it's because uh, there's a difference between a cult, at the, kasi po maraming, kapag kasi namin natin cult people, for, they're saying that it's a, a, a group is a cult, it's because they threaten people inside the church. So once they threaten people, napupunta na po doon sa pagiging punto ang isang gawain. Kasi nagkakwet sila, parang naniwala ka because you are, you, are, you are moved by fear. If any church moves you by fear, that is what you call the cult. Tinutulak ang mga tao na to believe into something because of fear. But uh, we are not putting it in that way. We are just telling what's happening and we were just telling what the truth is. But everybody has to rejoice. It's because that once that day comes, you will be with our Lord. Yeah. So, last time we had studied the book of uh, uh, the, the first uh, three chapters, and we're on the fourth chapter, and we know that uh, Jesus Christ, whom we believe that is God, who stays in the light. That's why you're going to find in there that uh, uh, dwelling in the light. Let's, let's open this up again just to study a background on the light. First Timothy 6.16 <clears throat> Let's start it from, from 14. That thou keep this commandment without spot and rebukable unto the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, which in his times he shall show who is the blessed and only potentate, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, who only hath immortality dwelling in the light which no man can approach unto, whom no man had seen nor can see to whom be honor and power everlasting. So God, we're talking about God. God has not, no man has seen God at any time, and no man can approach God, and He is dwelling in what? He's dwelling where? Dusha nananahan sa liwana. He is dwelling in light. So that God, that, that unseen God, He is just dwelling in light. <clears throat> so, hindi siya nananahan kung saan maliban sa ilaw, and then this slide that we discussed last time, uh, let's open up uh, the book of John again. John 1. Remember, John 1 is the study that uh, we show how God uh, descended or condescended from being an eternal God until He put Himself in time. Ito po yung Diyos na eternal. After noon sa John 1, 1, we know that his beginning started. So when beginning started, he put himself in the dimension of time. Because if he is eternal, he, there, there's not supposed to be a beginning. Are you getting it? 
Kapag ka-detail na siya, walang pasimula at walang wakas. But when he said that in the beginning, so he put himself in the dimension of time. So he pinasok niya yung sarili niya sa oras. In John 1, in John 1.1. <clears throat> So, John 1, 1, in the beginning was the word. So, when the in the beginning started, it means the time started. Yes. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God, and the word was... Uh, uh, and the word was God, and the word was God. Sabi po natin sa 5, or sabi po natin sa... Yeah, 5. And the light shineth in, in 4, in him was life, and the life was the light of man, and the light shined in darkness, and the darkness comprehended not. Remember last time when we discussed about the light and the darkness? The darkness is the absence of light. It's not that light is the absence of darkness. It's the different way. So kapag ka walang li, kapag ka ang darkness lumalabas lang, was you remove the light out. Kapag ka nawala ang liwanag, darkness will always be, will remain, and will come out, come, come out. But the, once you put the light, the light on, Darkness is overpowered by light. That's the thing that we're saying. So it's the absence. Who is stronger? It's the light that is stronger than the darkness. It's because that the light overpowers darkness. <clears throat> so when the light shined in darkness and the darkness comprehended not, there was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear the witness of the light that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, this John the Baptist you're saying, right? He was not that light, but he was said to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighted every man that cometh into the world. Who is this light that uh, John uh, became a witness? It is Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Jesus Christ is that he, will, he is the light of the world. Amen. <clears throat> First John 1, 5 to 7 again. <clears throat> For there are three, for there are three, first John, first John one, five to seven. This then is the message which we have heard of him, and declare unto you that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. In him is no darkness, it's because the light is overpowering the darkness. Remember, if we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. Kapag sinasabi natin, we have a fellowship with God. So each and every one of us, if you don't have any fellowship with God yet, it means that you are walking in the darkness. Amen. Remember that in your hearts. If you don't have any fellowship with God, it means you're still walking in the darkness. But how would you have a fellowship with God if you're not going to the church? So if you don't know who, who you serve. So those are the things that we need to consider. But if we walk in the light, <clears throat> as He is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanseth us from all sin. Amen. So this, uh, what, those are the things that we have studied last time. And then we, we know, then we compared what's happening in science. Because in science, the definition of light is an electromagnetic radiation from the longest to the shortest wavelengths. That includes the visible light between infrared and ultraviolet the wavelengths. So it, ang light pala, all the dimension of light, ang dimension pa ng, ng, ng liwanag is just an electrical radiation in science. So when we say that we went into the dimension of light, kaya pala tayo nag-exist because there's also an electrical radiation of science. There's an electromagnetic radiation. So there is now a spectrum you will be able to see. So light is not just the things that you see because there can be a light that cannot be seen. Because electromagnetic radiation is everywhere where there's a visible, there's only a space where it became visible. To the next slide, brother. Uh, number 727, please. <clears throat> you will be able to see the next one. You will be able to see that that's just a part. That is this spectrum of light, the visible light, is just a part of the full. Are you seeing it? Amen. So this is this is the measurement of light, but this is just the visible. visible. So meron lang mga ilaw at liwanag na nakikita at mayroong mga liwanag na tinatahawag but you cannot see. Amen. 
That's why this, this light is categorized in the tree. There's a light, there's a light that is called actinic that is neither seen nor felt. And there's a light that can be seen and can be felt just like what, just like the sunlight. You can see and you can feel. So there's a light that you can see and you can feel both seen and felt. And there's a light that you can feel but you cannot see. That's right. Ando no ngayon naging spectrum ng science. This is, I'm just talking about science right now. So, in science, this is, exist, this is existing. In the next slide, that's why God, when we see and when we know God, we just know little of Him. It's because that's the only thing that we can see, but what we don't know is God is a very broad God. He is too big, but only the things that we can see is just a small part of Him. It's because that's the only thing that He wants us to see. Amen. Are you getting it? Amen. So the visible God, or only the, the type, the, the only, the only, the, the God that He wants to introduce Himself to us, are the only things that we can see of the God that is really big. Okay. Amen. It's a light. The light, the visible light, occupies only one of the one thousand. Of the spectrum, light waves come in and in many frequencies. If it's a bit, the God that we see is a broad God, but the only thing that we can see is the things that He wants us to see. The only thing that what we understand are the things that He reveals to us. Amen, amen. If He's not going to reveal things, He's not going to reveal things. That's right. amen. Because He's a huge God. Amen. Are you seeing it? Amen. Light amen. and God. The light in science and the light and the God that we know. In the next slide, that's why we see. We know that from the very beginning, there's a God that we didn't see. Yeah. We never know that He's existing. We never know that we cannot feel Him, we cannot see. He's alone, He's sitting on His own. Nobody knows Him. That's the light that we cannot see and that's the, light, that's the God that we cannot see and we cannot feel. That's the light that we cannot see and we cannot feel. Can we feel it? No. But because He's still alone. When He started His creation, when the locust came out, out of Him, when He declared His Son, the, the Son declared Him. It is the Son, the begotten Son that declared the Father in John 1, 18. Remember, it is the Son that declared there is a Logos that came out of Him. Ang dineclare, nagdeclare ngayon, ang dineclare sino yung Ama. Kaya sabi natin, that Father went into the Christ. And that Logos was called Christ. <clears throat> and then He started the creation. And then He became visible to His creation. When He started creating angels, then He became visible to the angels. But before He was the God that cannot be seen. And cannot be felt. <clears throat> Are you seeing it? Amen. And same thing, uh, he is also the God. He is also the God in the Old Testament for the people. He is only, he's only talking to his prophets. He's not talking everywhere. When sin came in, it's because that part of the book of Revelation, remember, is the restoration of Amen. things. Amen. The word it was before. Amen. Remember the three purposes? Amen. So one of the purposes is to restore all things. But when sin came in, Yung sin na magitan, yung kasalanan na magitan, that's why God separated from men. Right. When God separated from men, that's the only time. We, I'm, I'm just going to talk to the chosen prophet that I'm going to speak with, but I'm not going to talk with the people. So he cannot be seen by the people, he cannot be filled by the people, but uh, <clears throat> he, he's only talking to the prophet directly. That's, that's the Old Testament God that we have. And then this, uh, the, second, the second phase, when God showed in flesh, it's the same Christ, He just put the flesh on it. Amen. It's the same Christ, but He just put the flesh on it. And when that same Christ, that, that He put the flesh on it, became visible to the people and can be felt. Amen. And that's the visible, that's the visible light. Became a visible light. And there's a spectrum. What's when, when, when did that thing happen? When Jesus Christ came. Amen. When Jesus Christ came, He became visible and He can be felt. And after that, he went out again, and then he became, he said that I will be coming back in the form of what? In the form of the Holy Ghost. Now we can feel him, Amen. but we cannot see him. That's right. Amen. That's right. You cannot see and you cannot, but, but we can feel. So that's the light, that's the dimension of God. That's the dimension of light, and that's how, that's how, uh, where, where God sits in the light. <clears throat> the next slide. We say this is just a reflection, right? So, uh, Every one of us, or the colors that we see, are just reflections of the light. The colors, all the colors that you see is just a reflection of the light. You, you're seeing red in here is because the, the rest of the other colors in light is being absorbed. And what is being reflected is just the red color. Amen. 
Ito po, science to. This is science. I'm just showing you what science is telling us. Science is telling us that all the light, what, all the colors are being reflected and some of the colors are being absorbed. So, for the individual, para sa mga sa individual, sa bawat sa atin, if God is reflecting something, either we reflect the light out, Amen. or we absorb the light, we not reflect anything. That's, that's, that's the only thing. But God wants us to reflect Him. Yes. It's because Amen. until we became the sons of God on this earth. Yes. We became the bride on this earth, so the purpose of our purpose is to reflect the same light out. Right. <clears throat> Revelations, uh, uh, next slide. Oh, I think that I think of it in Genesis when God made the sun and made the moon. When God made the sun and made the moon, now the moon is the wife of the sun. That's right. <clears throat> now, when the sun goes away, the moon reflects the light of the sun. Right. Is that right? Amen. On the earth. And now, when Jesus was taken away, we are the bride, which is the moon. To reflect the light of the gospel and we can reflect it until he shines on us. Amen. You will be able to reflect it until he shines on us. Amen. Are you getting it? Amen. So, the, the moon and the sun, the sun is, is, uh, is the greater light. Amen. The moon is a lesser light. Amen. The, but the sun is a greater light. So, between the sun and the moon, it is always the sun that will overpower the moon. That's right. <clears throat> when the gospel goes to shining to us, then we shine it out. So send the light. Lord, my, it's my prayer that uh, we can reflect the light of the Son of God in His power and His resurrection and His fullness. How marvelous. So on the next page, you will be able to see how the earth is rotating in its own it's in its own axis, axis, I would say. The earth has its own axis. That's why it's rotating. One rotation of the earth is called 24 hours. Amen. Are you good with that? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. yes. Every, everybody knows that. It's because that we have half of the hour, half of the day, uh, half of the day in the daylight and half of the day at night. Remember, first 12 hours, first 12 hours is day. The next 12 hours is night. So it's rotating. It's on its own axis. If it's leading on its own axis, there's a time that you are in the darkness and there's a time that you are at light. The earth, I'm saying about the earth. So the earth that is rotating against the sun, there's a time that it is, there's a light and there's a, on this part, it became darkness. However, the earth has its own moon. That's right. Now the moon is rotating if there's an orbit of the moon around the earth. And the orbit of the moon is orbiting the earth in 29 or 30 days, I would say. That's why we call it a month. Are you good with it? No. Month, when we say a month, it means it's 30 days that the moon has orbited the earth. That's right. That's right. That's why it's moon, it's month, it's moon, it's month. So people in the old days, they just look at the moon every time that the moon will be rotating. And that's how they count the days. They don't count it by night, they count it by the moon. It's because the moon changes its face. That's right. That's right. Well, the sun never changes its face. Yes. Oh. But the moon, it changes its face. That's why they measure it by the changes. They measure it by the changes in the faces of the moon. So the moon has its faces. You will get to find that there's a half moon that you call. There's the waning moon. See that one? That's the crescent. That's the crescent moon. So you're going to find that the crescent now is on the darkness side. That's why you're going to find that there's a face of the moon. That's the full moon and that's the new moon. The new moon is what the Muslims are using every time that they have to go for Ramadan. When will Ramadan start? Let's wait for the new moon. Once the new moon comes, then the Ramadan starts. When will Ramadan end? Let's wait for the new moon. Once the, once the new moon comes, then the Ramadan will end. So it's the new moon. The new moon is hard to see. It's because that it is always. I hope you understand the diagram. Clear, clear. I hope you understand the diagram. There's this big light. There's the bus, the sun. 
oil earth. Now, the moon is rotating around the sun. Uh, around the earth. But the earth is rotating on itself. It's because it has an axis, right? This will be night, this will be day. It's because it is the lady of the sun. Are you getting it? So, kapag umiikot po itong earth na to, half is always night. Now the moon is moving around the earth. Kapag natingitan nyo po ng side yan, you will be finding that this can be the earth at uh, hindi po direct ang axis ng earth kasi nakatilit na po siya, no? So you gotta find that the earth is not directly, it's not, it's not uh, like uh, 180 degrees or 90 degrees up. It's, uh, it's tilted while it's moving from its axis. That's why now it's no longer a perfect earth. It's because that instead of 360 days a year, it became 365.25. Ito pong earth na to na nagtugugayan, uh, if you're going to look, if you're going, if you're going to look at the moon, the moon is rotating. Pag ganyan po na umiikot, no? Tignan nyo po na yung moon umiikot sa earth na ganyan, ha? Then it goes at the back of the earth. Tapos po, malaki na naman. Are you seeing it? Yes. Kapag ka dito yung perspective natin. So, once you see that, now, it can, it's possible. Dapat nasa gitna po yung earth. <laughs> It's possible that the sun, that the moon is on this side, and it's not hitting, it's not, it's not hitting directly the earth. That's why it's not shadowing the earth. That's the only, that's the point that I want to say, that I want to, to, to give, to give on. There's a time that the moon will be just uh, not covering the full earth. Kasi nandito siya sa taas, minsan naman nandito siya, minsan naman nandito siya. So it depends on the rotation. Are you getting it? I hope you're getting it. I hope you're getting, maging gaya naman yung kapag ka nag-move na yung word sa ibang, sa ibang ikot na ng sun habang umikot siya sa sun. Posibleng naging gaya na yung direction niya. Are you getting it? Posibleng naging gaya na yung direction niya. Posibleng naging gano'n ang direction niya. Are you getting it? Yes. So if you're getting it, there's a time that the sun, the sun will, the, the moon will be in front of the sun or in front of the earth and it's covering the earth. That's right. And if it's covering the earth, that is what you call what? One moon. That's what you, Every time that the earth is here, uh, every time that the moon is here, it's always a new moon. Every time that the earth is on the side of the sun, it will always be a new moon, right? The new moon is in here. That's why even, even if the... Hindi niyo po makikita, from this side, you won't be able to see this. Because this is night, right? Yes. Alahati ay night. So only at night do you see the moon, right? That's yes. right. This, this side of the earth, you won't be able to see the moon because it's, it's light. But this side of the earth, you will be able to see whether it's a new moon, or it's crescent, or it's a, it's a half moon, or it's a full moon. That's right. At night, sa gabi lang po tayo nakakakita ng buhan. We won't be able to see the, the moon at night, uh, in the morning. That's or right. uh, in the day, day, in, in okay. broad daylight. That's right. Ang hirap yung paliwanag, you know? So, half side of the earth, let's start it again. The half side of the earth is day, and the half side of the earth is night. So, the moon you will only be able to see at night. So, whether it's a new moon, whether it's a half moon, whether it's a full moon, if it's full moon, it means that the sun is directly hitting the moon. So, kapag ka full moon, for example, the, the moon is here, and the... Do you have a observation? If the orbit, if the orbit of the moon is that, and it means that the, the, the Earth is orbiting or rotating that side, right? Now this became the night, and this became the day. Because here's the sun, right? Yes. So if the moon is here, or if the moon is here at the back of the at the back of the sun, this is what you call the full moon. Yes, right. So the people on this side of the earth will be seeing this moon as a full moon. Yes. Yes. If the moon is on this side, for example, on the 15th of the month, 
or on the 30th of the month. For example, this is the 15th of the month, and this is the 30th of the month, or the 1st of the month. Once the moon is on this side of the sun, at night you won't be able to see it. That's right. At night you won't be able to see it. But once it moves out a little bit, now na siya, magiging na siya. If you become right. that, or if you become that. That's right. Hindi ko po may paliwanag ng Marcos kasi siya na po ngayon. I hope, I hope, I hope. Kung gusto, gusto mo po ibigay sa inyo yung, 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 yung nakikita ko. So, because it's important. Meron po itong kahalagahan sa atin. When, when Brother Branham told us that, that we are the wife, we are the bride, we are the moon, there's an importance why we need to understand it. That's right. So, ang sinasabi po natin, every time that there will be an eclipse, if the moon is blocking the sun directly, and the earth will not be able to, this will be darkness in earth, right? Yes. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be daylight for them, but it becomes, it became light because the, the moon is blocking directly the path of the earth to the sun. Yes. Which, let's open up the next slide. You will be able to see, can you go to the next one? You will be able to see that the moon, that the sun is blocking directly the moon, and the moon is directly blocking the sun on the earth. That's why it is supposed to be day, but that portion became light. Yes, that's right. Solar eclipse. That's a solar eclipse. That's the process. It's just a process. It's a process of science. We're just studying science right now. Are you seeing it? Yes. So, kapag ka directly siya, if, it's, if, it, if it matches directly the, the direct heat of the sun to the earth, then the solar eclipse will happen. But if it's not matching, the only thing that will happen is just the new moon, and it's hard to see. You won't be able to see it because naliliwanagin siya ng gusto. And you won't, you won't be able to see it. It's covered. Are you seeing it? Yeah. On the other side, and this, this is how it looks. This is how it looks. What? It is the moon blocking the sun. What happened on earth? The earth, part of the earth is darkness. So there's a darkness on earth. Go back to the other side, which is the lunar. The lunar eclipse, you're going to find that the earth is blocking the moon. That's right. That's right. And every time that the earth is blocking the moon, every time that the earth will be blocking the moon, you will be finding that there's a lunar eclipse. And the lunar eclipse brings the moon to become a blood moon. Yes. That's why when you see that there's a blood moon, it means it's because of the reflection of the sun. And when you were a kid, are you playing with a flashlight? Yes. Try to play with a flashlight, put it, go in the dark room, put your flashlight, the light in here, and you're going to find that it's, this become red. Yes. Are you seeing it? Yes. It's because of this, there's a light at the back. It, and there's a shadow, the moon is overshadowed by earth. That's right. That's right. And the, at, at the back of the moon is pure, pure sunlight. Yes. It's the light rays of the sunlight. That's why it became bloody, it became red. The earth became red after that. What's the implication? Why do we need to study it? The moon, the moon, and the faces of the moon, you have to reflect the sun. Because at night, the earth is the world. Yes. The earth is the world. That's right. The world doesn't have any light at all. Exactly. That's right. That's right. So the light is God. If God is directly directly talking to the earth, to the world, the, the it's it's you know, all the cockroaches are gone. Remember the preaching of last week? The, the, all the roaches, all the bugs are afraid of the light. Yes. So they keep and go to their homes because they like darkness. Tapos sila sa liwanag eh, sa kanaka kaya kita ng ipis na lagi nasa liwanag. All these creatures, they fear, they fear the light. They always hide in the dark. So, once the light is out, lahat nagpupunta doon sa dilim. Everybody goes to the, to the darkest side of the earth. But the bride, which is the moon, that is the only reflection for the people to see. For them to understand that there is still dark. For them to understand that there is still light. They have to look at the moon for, get, for them to get the light. That's why there is the moonlight. The moonlight is the bright light. And the bright light is just a reflection of the sunlight. So it is the same light. It's not a different light, but it is the same. It's just a reflection of God. Up to the bright. So you are now the remaining light of this.
church and don't cover that light by what? By the world. Because once it's covered by the world, go back to the donor eclipse. Once it's covered by the world, it means that the bride is being covered by the earth. The moon is covered by the earth. It means that the bride is covered by the world. By which world? The world is this that we do. And don't ever, uh, don't, don't let ever that happen. However, if it happens, if it happens, you will become blood because you're protected by the blood. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're protected by the blood. Yeah. That's why you became a bloody moon. Yeah. You became a bloody bride. Yeah. You became a bloody world. You became a world that is bleeding today. Are you seeing it, brother? Amen. Are you seeing it? So the moon, as the husband, as the wife of the sun, reflects directly the sunlight. Amen. You are the word. But once you're covered by the worldly things and overshadowed by the word, the black always protects you. Amen. That's why, right. Amen. The black always protects you. Amen. That's why you became bloody. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Next slide is uh, on this side. When will this happen? This one is different because it is the bride who is blocking the light. Are you getting it? The moon is not supposed to be blocking the light. The moon is supposed to reflect the light. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. But when this thing happens, it means that the bride is absorbing all the light. That's right. right. <laughs> and he has taken, and she has taken the light from the world. When will this scenario happen? Only during the rapture, yeah. when there is no longer mercy on earth. Hallelujah. Yeah. When there is no longer mercy on earth, where the bride is just taking the full, the fullness of God, and the, 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 it became dark in the world. Now, what are they What is someone do? Why? Because the bride was taken out. Once the bride is taken out, the light will be gone. And that scenario will only happen on the half cure. That's the difference between the two. The other one is you are protect, being protected by the blood every time you are being overshadowed by the world. Well, the other one, the other eclipse, is you will be taken out and the light will be out of the world. And it's just darkness. Bakit kasi kinuha niyo lahat ng liwanag? Binlag niyo na yung liwanag na kuha niyo ng lahat. Hallelujah. Amen. It's science. <laughs> but it is us. <laughs> and that is light. That's why we're still studying the dimension of light. It's because that we live in light. And dito pa rin tayo sa libro sa sa mundo ng liwanag. And the light that you cannot see, the lights that you cannot see, that you can see and you can feel, and the light that you cannot see and you can feel. Hallelujah. Are you glad? Very glad. Hallelujah. Praise God. The next slide, please, brother. So, from the seven spirits which are before this throne, that's uh, still in Revelation 1 for that we read. The illumination of Christ in the seven churches, like a great rainbow. In Revelation 1 3, remember that light, before last week we have studied, that once it goes through the prism, the light became a spectrum of colors. Can you just go back just to show the prism? So, just move forward. The next slide, the next slide. So, this is the prism. The light, once it goes to a prism, it will become a spectrum of color. And only one of the two, the visible light, 
the, the, the light, the white light. The white light, once it goes to the prism, it's a spectrum of colors. And Brother Branham, remember last time that we read that he is the seven colors? Amen. That, that God is the seven colors. <clears throat> In Revelation 3, we just going to repeat that this, we want to understand that he has the seven spirits, that God has the seven spirits. Amen. And the seven spirits, uh, remain in that uh, in that uh, rainbow. I'll just I'll just read it. There's no need to change the slide. In Revelations uh, four five, it says, "And out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices, and there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God." I want to. We just want to concentrate on the seven spirits, because the seven spirits will become seven spirits. Once it goes to the pyramid, once it goes to the to the to the spectrum, uh, to the to the to the prism. Okay, the prism is a triangle. But once the light goes to the triangle, to the prism of mirror, it's it's glass. It's the prism of glass. It becomes seven spectrums of light. <clears throat> it becomes seven spirits of God. So, Brother Benham, let's study now. Why is it triangular, and what's the importance of the pyramid? The next slide. Now, just before, just before the antediluvian destruction and the flood time, well, we find out that they had a greater civilization than we have today. I believe that they had control of atomic power. Imagine that. That they have good control of atomic power. I think that's what shook the world from its orbit. I've stood I've stood in the British Isle uh, ice fields deep down 500 feet, bring out pumps, where there used to be pumps there, and many hundreds of years ago. And uh, we're taught, we're taught and know that the world stood upright, but and they had such mechanical and such science till they could build a pyramid, a sphinx, so forth that we couldn't reproduce today. The Egypts of today tried to reproduce the pyramids, but they could not. Indeed, they are not going. I would say they cannot. They cannot do it. It's because there is a different technology. So I said in the brother Brown, this is once you go to the pyramid. Who has been to the pyramids? Brother Elmer, So. Once you go to the building, so the brother, the brother, brother, even a blade you won't be able to fit. It's because that the stones were really fitted against its other, its other. Now the Egyptians, when Egypt became Egypt, the pyramids were already there. That's right. That's right. And they tried to copy it, and that's why in the in the time of Moses you're gonna find that they want to copy the pyramids, but they could not. It's because it's of a different technology. It's because of a different. It's, it's, it, it was they, they already found it in that place. When they when they came out uh, when when Egypt became Egypt. <clears throat> Some something we better brand on the next slide. Like I use this for an illustration. There is a doctrine called pyramid doctrine, but don't never get that in your idea. Yes. That I believe in yes. pyramid doctrines. I believe in the Bible. See, and although I believe the pyramid part played something in it, yes. it's because the pyramid has something. It played part of that pyramid. It's a mysterious pyramid. I believe God wrote three Bibles. Amen. So he wrote one of in he wrote one in the skies, which is the zodiac. Amen. He wrote one in the skies, which is the zodiac. Amen. Anybody knows that? Job spoke of it. What? Look at the zodiac. It starts off with the virgin. It's, it ends up with Leo the lion. Amen. That's how he comes. First with the virgin, his last. Next, uh, next coming will be the Leo, will be Leo the lion. See, coming as the lion of the tribe of Judah. Amen. <clears throat> so God, God was said, Brother Branham was telling us that there were there were three Bibles that God that God has uh, written into or has used. He said one is the one is the constellations. That's why you're going to find right now that people keep on looking the soldier signs and what is my future, what would be my lucky number, what is... Remember, that especially in the Philippines, the people of the Philippines, everybody is looking into the horoscope. First day in the morning, they look into the horoscope. What do the stars tell, tell me? What do the stars tell me? What do the stars tell me? So once they see it, ow, 
I, I will be lucky today. Everybody can be lucky anytime, right? <laughs> so it's not it's not a prophecy or it's it's nothing, it's just they, they just want to fool people. Yeah. These, these are not truth. Right. It's because that right now the orbit of the earth has changed. Right. Amen. The orbit of the earth is supposed to be 360 degrees. Amen. God is a perfect God. Yeah. It cannot be changed. Can, can his perfection be changed? No, because he's already a perfect God. Once he does his creation, he's always perfect. Yes. So when he created the solar system, the rotation of the earth must always be perfect. Yes. Today, how many how many calendars how many calendar days do you have in a year? 365.25. The point twenty five every time that every four years that point twenty five will become one. That's why every February every four years you'll be adding one. In the calendar, that's why you're having February 29. Every what? Every four years is because of the point 25 is added together. After four years, and it became one day. Are you getting it? So 325.25 or 365.25. But that's not the perfect circle. What is a perfect circle in geometry? Perfect circle in geometry is 360 degrees only. If the earth is rotating or orbiting 360, if this is the sun, and the earth is orbiting 365, it means that the earth is no longer, the, the, the orbit is no longer perfect. That's right. Are you getting it? Yes. It's because that now it's no longer 360, but it's 365.25 days in a year. If it's 360, Divided by 12 months. What would be the perfect rotation of the, how, how many months do you have? 12 in 30 days. So 30 days, it means that the moon is supposed to be rotating perfectly in 30 cycles. That's right. The moon is supposed to be perfectly cycling the earth or orbiting the earth in 30, in, in, in 30, 30 days. To do his, his one cycle. Are you getting it? Yes. The holy command. It's because of God, the perfection of God. Now the moon, the science is, is no longer orbiting 30 days, but it's just 29 point something. Why? Again, because it was disturbed. The orbit was disturbed. So the perfection of God, he has to orbit 360, but because something happened, because something happened, and what can, what can destroy the perfection of God? It's just the devil. It's just sin. That's right. So if, it's the only sin because that's the only thing that the devil does. Yes. Yes. The only thing that the devil does is to uh, to destroy whatever God has created. Amen. Are you getting it right? Yes. So we have come back to 365 is because that no one na tayo sa no one na tayo sa orbit. When the time is it still the, when the Earth is still orbiting 360 degrees. To the sun during the time that it's still perfect once you look at the stars you will be able to read it perfectly Amen. once you move once you look at the stars you will be able to look at it perfectly Amen. it's because that the orientation of the earth is still good and it's still in the right good in the right direction Amen. but after the earth tilted it differently when it when it moved 365.25 degrees or uh, degrees around the earth. Once you look to the stars, it will give you wrong Amen. instructions. Right. Once you look to the stars, it will give you wrong prophecies. That's right. That's right. God will no longer talk to those stars. It's because it's totally wrong. Because now once you read it, that's why all all the people lahat ng mga mm -hmm. That's right. All those uh, what do you call? All the fortune tellers, you will be, you, you won't be able to get a good reading from them. It's because they're reading it incorrectly. Astrologers, the people who look at the stars, it's because of the, it's not orbiting perfectly on the earth, on, on the sun, on its orbit. Are you getting it? Yeah. You will. That's why it was changed. After that, the 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 the, the sun is the, the all this this all this starting can no longer be. It's not it's not any more reliable. Except for one time, where God used it again. Yes. During the birth of Christ. Yes. Yes. And the only people who saw that star are the wise men. Yes. Yes. The only people who saw the star are the wise men. Because that was a special star. Yes. That was a special
special special star. Hindi yung kagaya ng stars na nakikita natin. Because there are only three who saw it. One the rest of the people were planted on that star. Are you getting it? Only the wise men have seen it. Otherwise, everybody would be following the star. Yes. Are you getting it? Yes. Otherwise, everybody will be following the star. So, balikan natin yung sinabi ni Brother Abraham. Before you're reading it from the stars, the Bible, the Bible can be, the, the Bible, the scripture can be seen, or God is talking to the stars. That's why you got to find in the stars right now that there's the virgin, there is the, there is the Leo, which is the lion. Brother Abraham says, from the virgin birth, up to the lion of the tribe of Judah. Amen. And there's the Pisces, the, 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 uh, the, the fishes in there. You got to find the gospel in there. And you're going to find after the gospel, there's the cancer. Yes. The destruction. Yes. Are, are you seeing it? Yes. So that's, ayun yung pinakita sa atin, every time that you're going to read it, you won't be able to read it now fully, or directly, or in the good, in the, in the good ways, because the things has changed. Things has changed. I believe in the pyramid doctrines, and he wrote one in the skies, which is the zodiac. Anybody knows that just Job spoke of it. What? Look at the zodiac. It starts off with the virgin. It ends up with the Leo, the lion. That's how he come. First with the virgin, his last. Next coming will be Leo, the lion. See? Coming of the lion of the tribe of Judah. And all then, the cross fishes of what we're in now, the cancer age, and everything. It all speaks, but forget it. See, because that is not our Bible. That's right. That ain't your Bible. So don't, don't, don't believe in those readings. Hindi na kayo dapat maniniwala doon kasi nagbago na. Nagbago. Nagbago ang face. Then the pyramids. Exactly how they were drawn. That stone was rejected. Still, that is not your Bible. <laughs> because our Bible became this Bible, Amen. became the Word of God. And during this time, you became the Word. Amen. And you became the Bible because now you are living Amen. and you are the epistle of God. Amen. The life of Christ that flows out of you became the Bible of today. Amen. If there will be a future Bible, you will be part of that Bible. Amen. The right of this age will be part and you will be part of that history. Hallelujah. Are you getting it? Right now, whatever the bride does, you're writing history. You're writing the word right now. Hallelujah. The pyramid says the end is in sight. Every great pointing places, the end is in sight. We're at the end time. It's built right up like this uh, to a point and the stone on the capstone never was found. So the pyramid Thinking that it is a perfect pyramid. Thinking that it's a perfect pyramid. The capstone is missing. That's right. Mm -hmm. Because they, it's missing, it's not there. That's why sabi nila, hindi, hindi yun, hindi, hindi nila makita kung nasa doon, hindi nila mailagay. Because they, I don't know what happened in between, but the capstone has never been placed. That's right. Kaya, sa sabi sa Brother Abraham, there's always still the copy of the stone. Amen. Para magkaroon ng perfection. You know that the pyramid, a perfect pyramid in any faces of the sun, you're not going to find any shadow. That's right. Do you believe that? Amen. Because once the sun is here, the shadow will be on this side, and it will never be, it will never be on the ground. That's right. Because it's on this side of the pyramid, because it's tilted. When the sun is on the other side, the shadow will be on this side. Are you getting it? Amen. So that's the perfect pyramid. You will never ever, you will not, you will not find the shadow of the pyramid on everywhere. So the coming. Sabi sa atin, there would be, there would come a time that this pyramid will be cut. At yun, yun ang inaantay ng bawat isa. Amen. <laughs> it's because, we, we're putting it, it's because the pyramid is important. Remember, Amen. there's a, we, we were shown in this uh, thing that we believe in, that there is the prestige of the perfect man. Amen. But uh, we will be discussing that later, but that's not the topic that we have right now.
because our topic right now is the spirits of God. Amen. So, it means that through the pyramid, the pyramid must be used, but Jesus, the pyramid must be used, and the capstone, we know that it's Christ. Amen. Let's, uh, let's move down. The capstone was rejected. Christ, the headstone, see, was rejected. Now, and in the Bible, we're living in the last days, the top of the pyramid, the prospicious of the cancer ancient, the zodiac, in the time of the coming of the real. Uh, in the coming stone and in the days of the manifestation of the sons of God in the Bible in the days of the manifestation of the sons of God when will the sons of God be manifested? not in any other age yes. the manifestation of the sons of God is only in this age it is only on this age that you will be revealed that you are the sons of God the manifestation of the sons of God see where, where we are at we're right at the end time. Amen. Just let this fire come to this fire, and after a while, you'll find out uh, it will move, and it's come out to Luther, Wesley, Pentecost, and find out the pyramid will pick up one of these days. So when we say the filter, the Luther, the Wesley, the Pentecost, Brother Branham is already talking about the ages. That's right. So the coming of the pyramid and the ages is talking at the same time. That's right. So now he's talking about the ages. There will be ages that will come until the last day. There will be a copy of the headstone. Amen. Time of the Luther, time of Wesley, time of the Pentecost. It means it's a process of what? It's a process of new birth. Amen. Right. It's a process of new birth and it's the ages. Uh, in uh, 41. And see in the pyramid, I've been there. It's home so close till you can run a razor blade. There's no mortar between it. It just perfectly sets together like the same stone. What's that? That's now we're talking about the stature of the perfect one. It's the perfect perfection of the pyramid. And when the church age is also the perfection of the bride. It's because it was built perfect bride that God will be returning to. And when the church age gets honed into the perfect image of Jesus Christ, <laughs> He will come resurrect all the saints when He comes and take them with Him. The church Amen. of the living God will be caught up. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In another message, I just I just want to show you all the pyramids, all the pyramid things, so that you will be able to understand that there's a headstone that we call Christ. And the copy of the headstone in us. What what is the headstone? It's the bride. Remember, we are the body. We are the body, we are the body, we are the bride, we are the church. And then the head, when he, he died, when he was elected, he took the body with him. Are, are you getting it? Yes. And when a man in a foundry is making a bell, he's got a certain tone, he has to put it in. When he's setting his mold and pouring his iron, he puts in so much brass, so much steel, so much copper. Why? He knows just exactly how much to put in. To make, give it in the right tone, and that's what Jesus has done with by his bride. He had to put so much Luther, so much Methodist, and so much by his bride. Uh, so much Presbyter. So much Presbyterian, so much Pentecost in it. But what does he come out with? His own reflection. What is it? Just like pyramid message, you see it's heaping right up. This come into the minority with the headstone. The ministry of Jesus Christ on earth has to be the same as the ministry he had or he can come to it. Amen. The ministry of Jesus Christ must be the same ministry Amen. on earth. So, the ministry that we will be doing is the same ministry that he did. Are you getting it? So he says that little by little, it's not when, when you make a bell, a little of this and a little of that until he sees the perfection. That's why in the ages you will be able to see. Little by little it's changing. That's why a little of the Presbyterians, a little, a little of the Methodists, a little of this, a little of the doctrine of this. That's why you became every, every day. Amen. When people ask you, are you a Catholic? Yes. We are Catholic. Yes. Because we are universal church. Amen. Are, are you a church of Christ? Yes. We are the church of Christ. Yes. Definitely we are the church of Christ. Yes. Not just the church because we are the body of Christ. Yes. And we are the bride of Christ. Yes. Not just the church of Christ. Yes. So, we are, we became everything. It's because we got a little bit of them. Amen. Of all. That's right. Para ikaw ay makita anong perfection ng Diyos. It's the perfection of God. 
Hallelujah. <coughs> just like the pyramid. Did you notice how the pyramid was made? Not a pyramid doctrine, just a pyramid. Look at one dollar bill. The great seal. It's the next, next slide put time. And now we're left. The Pentecostal age. Now we are coming. I, I just wanted to understand that all these ages will be coming. It's because of... Uh, those are the ages, or those are the churches that we will be discussing. <clears throat> there will be a, a time. Just para uh, pasimula lang sa inyo. So these are the ages that we're discussing right now. When we say Pentecostal age, it also happened in part of our age in the Laodicea. There's a Pentecostal that came out. Aside from the Pentecostal, there's this uh, justification, uh, sanctification age, and we have the justification age in here. And this is the death of the church. You will be able to see that later. I'm just telling you for you to understand what we're reading. So there's, when we say the, the justification age or the, the Luther age, that's the Luther age. When we say about the Wesley age, that's the, that's the sanctification age. When we say about the Pentecostal age, part of the Laodicea became the Pentecostal age. Amen. <clears throat> so it's about the ages. There's got to be uh, the headstone when it comes to it. It's got to be honed. There's got to be a ministry in the church. The true church to the living God. There's a ministry to the church. Amen. Remember that. You have your own ministry. Amen. There's a ministry to the church. Amen. The church of the true church of the living God. So everybody has a ministry. That's right. Amen. Even if you're just sitting in there. Yes. Even if you're not doing the you're not doing the instruments, even right. if you're not handling, if you're, even if you're not a deacon, or you're not a trustee, or you're not a you're not a minister, or you're not a, a, a song leader, you have your own ministry. Yes. Because you're part of the church. Right. If you are part of the church, then we have to fulfill right. the ministry that we have to do. Amen. You were given a ministry. Not just to sit inside. Uh, What's that ministry? To reflect the sun. To reflect the sun. It's because that you are not. That's the ministry that we showed. We're just we're strictly only about the light. So when we say that you have a ministry, though your ministry, part of your ministry is to reflect the light. Amen. Being a moon, you have to reflect that light out. That's right. Amen. <clears throat> Hallelujah. So, kahit na hindi ka nangangawal, just be by, by, by the way that uh, you, you deal with your colleagues, Amen. by the way that you deal with your parents, with your people, with your son, with your... Nakikita na nila sa iyo. Amen. Hallelujah. That's, that's how you... That's, that's, that's the Christ in us that Amen. comes out. Hallelujah. 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 Then... Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Christ or the ministry of Christ and Christ will fit right in together perfectly. Then that brings back the redeemed to take the whole house of God to glory. Who is the redeemed? It is the bride. Amen. 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 Then that brings back the redeemed to take the whole house of glory to God, the Methodist, Baptist, and Presbyterian through the great reformation ages that come out and give their lives in persecutions and things for the kingdom of God. But that stone is coming. Yes, sir. It certainly will come. God will send it. It will fit all the building together upon it. See, now we see these signs as we see the ministry from Christ beginning to now up now. To the complete ministry of Christ in the fullness of the Holy Spirit. And that capstone has already come. Hallelujah. And that capstone came in the word form. Hallelujah. That's why you became the word. You became the bleeding word. Amen. Remember, the marriage happened on the earth. Amen. The marriage of the bride and the bridegroom happened on earth. Amen. Ito po sa lupa nangyayari ang marriage. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When Enoch them in the early days built the pyramids down in Egypt, <laughs> Enoch built the pyramids in Egypt. That's right, that's right. We find out that in there, they knew that that cornerstone, the capstone would be rejected, and that pyramid is put so perfectly together till they don't need mortar. It was so mechanically hewed out until one stone fits against the other one so tight, you can't even put a razor blade between them. Now, just kept heaping up, and now it's all honed off on top, ready for the capstone when it will come. That's the way God has brought His church from justification, sanctification, baptism of the Holy Spirit. Now, the ministry of the Spirit preaches what weakens the word. That 
ministry in the church will have to be just exactly like his. Amen. Next page, Zechariah 29. Let's read it. For behold, the stone that I have laid before Joshua, upon one stone shall be seven eyes. So now there's this stone. What's this stone? It's the pyramid. Yes. Amen. <clears throat> shall, be, shall be seven eyes. Behold, I will engrave the graving thereof, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will remove the iniquity of that land in one day. <clears throat> we want to focus on the seven spirits. Oh, seven eyes again. So starting from Zechariah, the prophecy was already there. Well, uh, well, stone, it's a pyramid that will come up with seven eyes. Zechariah 4. For who hath... That's uh, Zechariah 9 and 10. That's not just 10. Okay. The hands of Zerubbabel, the hands of Zerubbabel have laid the foundation of this house. His hands shall also finish it, and thou shalt know that the Lord of hosts hath sent me unto you. On 10, for who hath despised the day of small things? For they shall rejoice and shall see the plummet in the hand of Zerubbabel. With those seven, they are the eyes of the Lord, which run to and fro through the whole earth. Amen. <clears throat> okay, going down to Revelation 5. So the seven spirits is the seven spirits of the Lord that runs through earth to and fro, in the whole earth to and fro. In Revelation 5, 6, babalikan po natin ulito, we will be discussing this again in the future. Revelation 5 and 6, just to show you that the seven spirits of God again, the seven eyes, and I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, just to show you that the seven eyes are the seven spirits of God. So it's the seven spirits that we keep on talking. It's the seven spirits that we say that came out of the light. Amen. So and, see, and God says that and, and the scripture told us that that seven spirit is to and fro the earth. Amen. Let me say again, these seven spirits, after it, it, for that to become a seven, it has to go through this pyramid to spit out that seven. Amen. Are you seeing it? Amen. So that light has to go to this pyramid of whom? The pyramid of Christ. Amen. The pyramid of Jesus Christ. That light, that God, has to go through the pyramid of Christ, Amen. to the pyramid of God, for the spirit to split out. Amen. For the spirit to become the seven spirits of God. Amen. Are you getting it, church? Yes. Amen. Kaya, sabi sa ating ngayon, the very first message that we need is Christ, the mystery, right? Yes. In Colossians 1, Amen. that all that was in God, Amen. He put it in Christ. Amen. And all that was in Christ, He put it in the church. Amen. And it's the same thing, all that was in God, in the light, He put it in Christ. Amen. And all that was in Christ, He put it in the church. Amen. Amen. And all was in God. He put it in Christ. Amen. And all that was in Christ, He put it in the church. And the church is who? The church is the body. Amen. Who is the church? The church is the bride. Amen. So all that was in God, He placed it in each and every one of you. In the beginning, that's about this individual. Everything that was in God. In the next screen. In the next screen. If I pass it, I will not finish it. No red letters.
the next screen, the next one, just to show you what are we going to expect soon in the churches. But the God that was in light, <coughs> that he used Christ, so all that God that put was that was placed in Christ, and Christ, when he was still Christ, when the flesh was not there yet, uh, is still a light. And it's still a God that uh, cannot be reached by people. So all that scripture is only applicable in our age. Amen. In the Gentile dispensation. Amen. For us to understand. For us to see the beauty of the light. <laughs> Do you see the beauty of the white light? No. But in the color, in the rainbow, there's an attraction. Yes. Every time that there's a rainbow, people will look. Yes. Are you getting it? Every time that there's a rainbow, you're going to ask your, you're going to take a photo. You're going to ask your children to look at the rainbow, look at the rainbow, oh, there's a rainbow. Why? It's because of there's an attraction for the rainbow. Amen. Amen. So what God did, He made it attractive to us. Amen. He made Himself attractive to us. That's why He, he has to go through Christ. Amen. For him to become a party. Para ma-attract ang Gentile. Are you getting it? Amen. So, he went into the churches. That's why the first church age will come. You're going to find, click, click it. You're going to find that the God in light that went to the pyramid of Christ. You're going to find that it is the message. Amen. What's that? The first spirit. What's that? The eye. Amen. One of the spirits of God. One of the spirits of God that went right. to the messenger. It's not about the messenger. Right. Remember, right. put that in your mind. It's not about the messenger. Amen. It's about the message. Amen. Amen. It's the message. When God says that in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, it is the voice of the seventh angel. Amen. It's not the seventh angel. Right. In the days of the voice, yes. it is the message. Amen. Because the message of the hour became the word in the hour. Amen. The message of the hour became the word in the hour. Amen. That became your word. That became our word of the hour. The message. Remember that. It's the message. It's not God by God again. It's not the man. It's not the messenger. It's not the angel. It's not God by God, but it is the message. It is the message. So that's the message to the church of the Ephesus. What was that? It's the spirit of God that went out. One of the spirits, one of the seven eyes. Amen. The next became the message to the church of Ismirna. And the next became to the message of uh, Pergamos. And then became to the message of the Adira. Amen. And then to the message of Philadelphia. And then to the Southeast. And then to the message of Philadelphia. And then became to the message of Laodicea. Amen. The message. It is the voice. Amen. The voice to the Ephesus. It's not about Paul. Paul is just a brother. Paul says that I am just a prisoner. It is the one inside me. That's what's me. It is the one that inside me. That has control over me. It's not about Paul. Not Paul. It is the one inside Paul. What are we having right now? Begin the word. It is the message of Paul. The message of the the message is not Paul. We're not talking about the life of Paul. Are we just talking about the life of Paul? No. Whatever happened with Paul, happened with Paul. Yes. But it is the message that we make. Amen. Yung salita ni Pablo, hanggang ngayon nasa atin pa rin. Amen. It is the message that we make. Message to the church of Ephesus. Message to the church of, it's the message to the church of Ispila. It's the message to the church of Pergamos. Tiyan tayo ba, South East, Philadelphia, now this year. It's the message. Why? Because that's the voice of God. Amen. Amen. Why? Because that message became the word of God for the hour at that specific dispensation. At that specific age. So the voice of the hour. The resurrecting, the resurrecting voice. The word of God is the message of the hour that we have. And uh, that's about the dimension of light. We live in light. We live in the dimension of light. We live in the light of the word. We live in the light of the gospel. 
We live in the light of the red chasuble, the other one that, that we cannot see. We live in the light of this gospel. We live in the light of Christ. Amen. Let us all stand this morning. did not came from the wife itself but it's from the light of the husband it is from the light of God it is from the blood of Jesus Christ which is the greater light which is the sun hallelujah As we see that we became the the orbiting light around the world we have to remain that we have to retain that we have to pray to God that this life that we live became the light of the world that he's expecting from us hallelujah I want to praise his name, let's sing and praise his name again. It's a, a really inspiring song. When everything happens, remember you're the light of the world. Whatever trouble we're in, remember that you're the light of the world. What? That itself is a comfort unto us. Comfort na yun mismo sa atin. Malaman lang natin that you became the bride. Malaman niyo lang na kayo pala yung mga asawa ng Diyos na binigyan niya ng liwanag. Amen. So all the prayers, surely, Amen. surely all the requests that we're doing inside this church Amen. is being unfolded to us and it's being being answered to us one at a time. Hallelujah. Lahat ng panalangin natin, lahat ng tinadalangin natin sa tulong ng Panginoon, nagkakaroon ng katugo ng sa harapan ng Diyos. We are the light. Ibinigay sa atin ang liwanag ng Diyos. Kaya hanapin pa ba tayo sa Diyos? But the only thing that we have to do is to keep on. Be available all the time. That's the only thing that God is looking from us. The, uh, our availability. Hindi uubusin ang oras natin ng all the things. All the things. Galing sa pabaho. All the things of uh, whatever you have in your mind. Whatever you have in your heart. Hallelujah. As we sing the song. When you're up against the wall, and your mountain seems so tall, and you realize that life's not always fair, you can run away and hide. Let the old man decide, or you can change.
the only thing that we can do is to praise and worship you, oh Lord. Amen. With all our might, with all our strength, Amen. with all our lives. As we offer ourselves unto you, <laughs> pinatas po namin kayong lagi. Pinupukin namin kayo, Panginoon, ng maluwalhating maluwalhati. Itinatas namin, Panginoon, ng inyong pangalan sa kataas-taas ang sisitla. Amen. Ang nangyayari, oh Father, oh, ang dakilang pangalan sa namin, Panginoon, na si Cristo. Amen. Amen. Amen, oh Father. Amen. Lord, we pray. Panalahin po namin, Panginoon, ang lahat ng may karamdaman. We pray for all the people who are sick, oh Lord. Panalahin po namin, Panginoon, ang lahat ng Lord na nangangailangan. We pray for the people that are needy, O Father. Panalahin po namin, Panginoon, ang lahat ng mga plano namin. All our plans, O Lord, we give it unto you. Panalangin po namin, Panginoon, ang mga kapatid na hindi, na hindi maka-attend, Panginoon, dahil sa kanumang, anumang uri, Lord, ng kadahilanan. Panalangin namin, Lord, ang mga kapatid na nang hihina at ayaw, Panginoon. Willingly, Panginoon, ayaw sila mong matihin. Lord, mahal po namin sila. At Lord, naniniwala kami na nanampalataya kami. They are part of your body, O Father. At kayo po, Panginoon, nagbabalik sa kanila ng sigla, Panginoon, para manumbalik sila sa inyong salita. We're praying for them, O Lord. Panalangin, Lord, namin ang aming mga kapatid na nasa Pilipinas ng Siwi. Lord, humihilap po sila, humihingi, Lord, ng, ng, Lord, ng, ng provision sa inyo. Alam po namin ang hirap nila sa Pilipinas sa araw-araw, Panginoon. Kayo po, Lord, ang magbigay sa kanila ng sapat na kalakas ang espiritual, oh, Father. Iba, Lord, hindi po nakakapakinig ng inyong salita. I-extend po, Lord, ang inyong salita sa kanila. Nang manatili sila, Panginoon, mga hawakan, hanggang kayo'y makabalik. Maraming salamat, oh, Father. Maraming salamat po, Panginoon. Tinatakila po namin kayo. Tinataas ang inyong dakilang pangalan ng aming po Panginoon sa Kristo. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we go, let's sing the song. Press on. Yeah. 
closing, may I call on uh, Brother Albert to close our service this morning.